I had the chance to chat with 40 of those luminaries, including Iowa Athletic Director Beth Getz, who's set to start her first full year as Hawkeye AD during a massive stage of change in college sports. Regardless of what period of time you're in, you're always dealing with the issues that, you know, are right in front of you. And so, um, you know, whether it was uh, the ones that we faced during that period of time, you just try to build great relationships and work through them as uh, honestly as you can and collaboratively with everybody involved. You're part of that department. And then after officially being named permanent AD, you get to watch one of the greatest records in all of sports be broken as Caitlin becomes the all-time leading scorer in college basketball history. And then... The women's team makes a second straight run to the national title game. What was it like to have a front row seat for those? Well, it's hard to put into words, right? I mean, who thinks they get to do that once uh, in a lifetime and to do that back at the back and with a generational uh, player who's changing, changing not only the game but women's sports um, across the board. So just phenomenal to be a part of and so excited to get to share that uh, with our Iowa fan base. And then shortly after that run to the title game, Lisa Bluter decides it's time to be able to spend some time with her husband Dave and her family after an absolutely legendary career. What did she mean, not just to Iowa, but to women's college basketball? Yeah, you know, to have that deep of an impact on the state as a whole, I mean, she spent her entire career there, and, and the time she spent building this program um, at Iowa has just been amazing. But I think what made it so personal for everyone is just the connection she had with fans. I mean, people felt like they personally knew her. They were part of the success. Um, and so I think everybody's really grateful and certainly um, appreciative of all she's done but sad to see her go. In terms of the three front-facing sports of women's and men's basketball and football, Jan joins a group of two others that are among the longest serving in their respective sports with Fran McCaffrey and men's basketball and, of course, Kirk Ferentz with football. How have those two kind of defined what the Iowa Athletic Department has been like in Fran's part for more than a decade and in Kirk's part for basically a quarter century? Yeah, well, I mean, you, you just said it. They really, uh, they define personally their value system, the cultures they build with their program, exactly what it means to be at the University of Iowa. And to have that stability there, I think, has been so critical. And so when you come to play at Iowa, come to watch our Iowa teams, uh, you know that they're going to resemble what Kirk Ferentz has been, to, uh, what, what he's built over the last 25 years so uh, very neat to be a part of and really uh, exciting for I think people to watch those are the sports obviously that get more of the public attention more of the television coverage but the Olympic sports are such an important part of everybody's athletic department I mean your wrestling program obviously under Tom and Terry brands has been nationally recognized for a long time as an AD with this transition and especially with the addition of the four schools how do we make sure that we manage the travel schedules and all the logistics to make sure that these Olympic sports athletes are still able to do what they want to do and succeed academically and athletically? Yeah, I think that's where the decision making is just so critically important to figure out what makes each of those sports special. It means we may uh, figure out what works for baseball, doesn't work for women's soccer, and, and to really leverage the strengths of those sports um, and keep those things that have been most important and impactful for the student athlete experience front of mind as we decide uh, how to navigate future schedules and how to operate on our own campuses uh, but you know across our 650 athletes all of those experiences are important we know we're impacting lives and are committed uh, to making sure that they can compete in the Big Ten where are we Beth in this evolutionary stage of the NIL and the transfer portal the revenue sharing that seems to be an eventuality not a possibility and and how as athletic director do you kind of manage all that because so much of it is unknown yeah it, it really is but I do think um, one it's a good thing that we're going to have this opportunity to share more resources with student athletes and that's been a long time coming um, and I think as you have some finale now it's just about you know putting the pieces together and I, so there's work to do to be sure um, but I think we're all excited to, to dive in and, and get get at that